Our next inductee is a guy I think that you could compare, and I hope he doesn't take offense to this, but the little engine that could. You remember that story when you were growing up? I, I would never say that directly to his face, by the way. Well, I guess I just did. I guess I'm in trouble. I say that because he is boxing's embodiment of someone who was not given much of a chance to succeed, but he became a world champion. He was born in Philadelphia, a short amateur career, and then he turned pro in 1982. He stepped in the ring with top contender Roger Mayweather in 86. He had a record of 14 wins, 13 losses. He was given little chance, but he opened up everyone's eyes with a six-round knockout of Mayweather. In 1990, he got his first title shot, losing a very close decision to Pernell Whitaker, who at the time was considered the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. In 1993, he did capture the lightweight championship of the world by defeating Tracy Spann. He made two successful title defenses. He stepped out of boxing in 2001 with a final career record of 47 wins, 26 losses, 5 draws, 34 wins by way of knockout. But it wasn't the wins or the losses that defined his career but it was the fact that he was a world champion, and as his nickname proved, he was fearless. It is my honor to welcome to the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame class of 2011, the former lightweight champion of the world, Freddie Pendleton. Wow, this is a, a big honor for me, uh, being inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'd like to thank everyone uh, with the Florida State Hall of Fame, and it is really a pleasure to be uh, inducted in with a, a lot of my friends and uh, associates that work with me. Uh, and, uh, you know, my, one of the trainers that I really, uh, truly hated was uh, Dwayne Simpson. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, here's a guy that, uh, I mean, you would think that he was beating me up in the corner. He's screaming, swinging. He's telling me, do this, do that. And I'm like, you know, Dwayne, slow down, please. You know, and when I finally knock the guy out, he runs up and uh, slaps me. Uh, I, I guess that was a, you know, congratulations, you know, from Dwayne. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you know I, I, had, I, had a, I had a great career. I mean, I had a lot of ups and downs, but it was worth every, every minute of it. And um, this is... Uh, a real big deal for me, and my son's here. I'm glad to, you know, say I'm here with my baby boy, and uh, my friend Chaffee Fields is here, former uh, 49ers uh, NFL star, and uh, I mean, it's just a great thing, and it's, it's really uh, touching for me to be here with all of my friends and inducted in with a lot of people that I've known and, and have dealt with throughout my career, and i just like to say again, thank you. In 1990, Pendleton fought Pernell Whitaker for the WBC and IBF lightweight title. And the fight went the distance. He finally captured a world championship in 1993 with a win over Tracy Spann.